Uh, hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a base plate shear design in IDI Statica. Actually, base plate is uh, mostly we use with for the moment resisting as well as for the shear design. So we want to uh, consider the base plate just have bearing a actual force. You now we will go to the IDI Statica, and here is the end plate connection design, and you can select the project based on your requirement so mine is w uh, section so i can section here is the first part in the design is moving connection is shear connection in the shear we don't have uh, shear force and moment we give a name and also if in if you have an inscription you can write it and you choose the material and the code the electrode as well I'm going to create now the model is created this is the dimension of the uh, concrete block and this is the column uh, this is a beam and the load is giving by 1200 millimeter and 200 kilonewton in the top location so uh, in case if you think this is a uh, proper you can first calculate and see how this behave in case if you have any kind of an arrangement you can bring it by adding using operation so for this one uh, just i want to uh, make some changes on the size of the weld this is the weld is 10 millimeter and i want to use 12 millimeter and this also 12 millimeter and one more thing is I want to change the load uh, this is uh, 100 1200 kilonewton is very less so usually we think it's uh, about so three stories structure so we want to make 3000 uh, but in some case there is possibly no uh, there is possibly a loss of shear in the bottom and also moment we want to add some small amounts of shear and moment so at least 25-35 kilonewton in the y direction and uh, about uh, 35 in the uh, z direction and some moment is a little moment uh, 20 in the x and just 20 in the x is okay enough so we have this and we want to calculate this uh, the analysis completed but uh, unfortunately the plates which is mostly uh, this plate from the column flange and the wave is not passed and the weld is also not satisfied and the concrete block is also not satisfied because the load which we are giving is quite high so what we're gonna do is we want to change the column uh, in actually in previous uh, we should uh, conduct a, a column design and should call column, column should design then we will bring the designed column uh, to design the, the base end plate base plate so we go back to the column here we can change the column uh, here is the column uh, that 12 16 and I want to use uh, another column uh, list is uh, 1275 and it's a little larger so we know okay the column is changed uh, now we want to uh, change some in the concrete block as well so we go to the concrete block uh, in the bottom here is the concrete block foundation we want to the offset in two direction should be 400 instead of uh, should be making larger so then they when increasing the area so the pressure will be lead so that so it's, it will satisfy and next is i want to increase the size of the weld now it's going to instead of increasing list using 12 milli 14 milli and also changing the uh, e electrode to 18 now these three parameters column and weld and block is changed now we want to recalculate 
uh, the analysis completed but still the uh, concrete block is didn't pass so what we're gonna do is we go to back again to this here and change uh, you can change the concrete and this is very effective or you can uh, go to increase this to 500 and this will be okay now we're gonna go back again and redesign Uh, so it's still in pass now uh, the only way is to uh, we want to use concrete uh, with a uh, larger uh, compressive string so we change the concrete uh, compressive now we want to rerun again and see how it's work uh, this is the result and result is fortunately very very economical which we used almost 85 80 percent of the concrete uh, uh, criteria. So now this is uh, uh, the design of this base plate is completed. So why in the loading I had some shear force moving? Because in practical there is uh, very few examples to uh, have the two depending the the, the uh, both of the column should has uh, hasn't uh, uh, moments or shear force. So there is at least some because. Uh, the loading criteria or some uh, manufacturing or some other issue caused to create some shear force and also some movement. Uh, so now it's uh, all this criteria is completed and we finished the design. So now we can go to create a report and see this is the report and here is the report of uh, of, of my uh, work so here is everything is passed and the dimension and uh, analysis explanation and here is the behavior and here is the could check will check everything so uh, now you can go to uh, send it to any kind of this uh, uh, other application to see or edit for your client and Thank you, this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I will find time to answer you. See you next time.